from Milford, Indiana, about an hour south east of uh, Notre Dame. Um, been following the Stop Obama uh, website and found it very compelling when they began to arrest them and throw them in jail. Uh, but didn't give it, you know, much thought after that and then got word that Alan Keyes was getting involved and of course like a lot of people that, that can get your attention. Uh, Alan's one of my heroes. And uh, it was just like the rest of the guys I talked to is like, didn't know why, but somebody said, got to go. And uh, after this weekend, I spent, I don't know, what did we spend, three days, two days in jail? Um, I know why I was there now, and that was just to be a tool for the Lord. Um, what happened to get arrested? Um, I'm just finding out because we haven't had any information for a couple days being in the cell. Um, that's just icing on the cake because what happened inside the jail was even cooler. Uh, witnesses, witnessing the guys that um, are scared to death, uh, witnessing the guys that are tougher than nails and seeing them praying with us after a couple days is something I'll never forget. And uh, the guys that I built relationships that came from all over the country, they strengthen my faith and it's great. Um, if you got a chance, make a difference in this world. This is it. Thanks. Hi, my name is Thomas Chantelou. I live and work in Cincinnati, Ohio. I'm originally from California. And uh, tonight, earlier tonight, I got released from the St. Uh, Joseph's County Jail uh, after spending the weekend after a protest on Friday on the campus of Notre Dame in South Bend. And uh, uh, you're probably wondering how I ended up here. Um, I was feeling kind of sick from work Friday and uh, I was calling in sick. And just by chance I woke up early at 5 a.m. and checked my uh, Gmail account and uh, got a link about uh, Randall Terry and others uh, speaking out against uh, Obama and, and speaking for pro-life on the campus of Notre Dame. Well, I uh, clicked on the link, found out Alan Keyes was uh, leading the effort on Friday and uh, I decided to just uh, drive up all the way from Cincinnati, 280 miles. Uh, I was a little bit late, and uh, but I got there, and uh, they had already uh, taken Alan Keyes and arrested him and put him on a van. I got there a little bit later, and uh, but I wasn't too late and, uh, and didn't get a chance to protest too much because they were already arresting people, but I got in there, raised my hand, said, uh, told them, how do I get arrested? And uh, that seemed to draw their attention. But um, I want to speak out about the whys, and uh, for years I've been sitting on the sidelines as a practicing Catholic, and, uh, and it just grated at me over the years off and on, and uh, um, I, I just cannot sit on the sidelines anymore. Um, this is a struggle, this is a long struggle, and uh, abortion's murder, I believe, and uh, as a ca practicing Catholic, I cannot in good conscience just um, not uh, participate to protect the unborn and the women that are convinced that that's the only choice. So uh, just in closing, I'd just like to say that uh, uh, that uh, the St. Joseph's uh, jail staff was very good with us, treated us very well. Uh, those of the female staff, I want to wish them a happy Mother's Day to have children. And, uh, and if they didn't, well, heck, we were their children for the weekend, and uh, we really appreciate it. So, uh, God bless everyone. Uh, God bless Alan Keyes. God bless Randall Terry and the rest of us that are there. And uh, I just want to close by just saying uh, that uh, that uh, you need to get off the sidelines at some point. Amen. And this is, goes all out to Catholics. For Notre Dame to do this, do something like this, is, uh, is a wake-up call. For those of you wondering, yes, I'm Sap Wolf on Hot Air Block site and uh, also on Conservatives for Palin. And I just want to wish uh, the governor of Alaska, Sarah Palin, a very happy Mother's Day. And um, just to wish her and her family. And it's too bad she didn't make it at the correspondence dinner. But I'm sure Todd uh, held up really well with that. Good night. Hello, my name is Andrew Beecham. And I'm from Elkhart, Indiana, and I marched with Alan Keyes on Friday. This is about 
the innocent, and if not us, then who? Who will stand up for the innocent, and who, who will stop this from happening? Who will come with us and join us in this fight? We need every person.